Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Thursday. Welcome back. It is finally time for my Kringle Candle Haul. <laughs> my last order that I placed was finally delivered, so now I can show you guys everything that I picked up from the returning favorites sale that they had going which was a really great sale. And I also participated in some of the like Founders Day specials as well. So you could get two, um, two uh, large jar candles. I think it was like two for 40 or something like that. It was a really great deal. And so I did a little bit of that as well. And when doing that, I decided to try out a few more of the country candles. I have not made it a secret that my favorite formula from Kringle Candle is definitely their soy formula. Um, it just is the easiest to burn like ever out of any candle company because you just don't have to worry about the candles getting messy or sooty. The wicks are pretty darn perfect. Like I've never really had a wick issue with any of my two wick soy candles. I just think they're definitely like the best out of like all of the Kringle lineup. Definitely a favorite for me. Um, but there's a lot of scents in the country candle line that just really appeal to me. I am getting into full spring and summer mode at this point. Those are actually not my favorite seasons, but I do love a good fruity scent. And if there's one thing that I think Kringle does really well, it's fruity scents. And since most of these are only available exclusively through country candles right now, I, I know that Mick had put out there, I think it was on, was it Norma's Candle Dancer group on Facebook? I think it was that one. He kind of put some feelers out there with people in terms of um, if they should do away with their paraffin formula or if they should make some of the scents available um, in the two-wick soy formula as well. Um, so I, I don't know what came out of that little poll that he did, um, but I think a lot of people still really enjoy paraffin candles. And so my hope is that he keeps the paraffin for those of you that do love that particular formula, but that he also makes those scents that are currently exclusive to the country candle line available in the Kringle soy formula as well. I think that would be the best of both worlds. I don't know how big of a headache that would be production wise, um, but I do know that some of these scents that I picked up are absolutely delicious and I would love to see them in, in the two wick soy formula. So my fingers are crossed. Um, I, I don't intend to burn all of these country candles completely down. What I will do is burn them for several hours to be able to do like a post burn review for you guys. But then my intention is to either crock them for the remainder of their life or even put them under my candle lamp, which I'm loving having a candle lamp, by the way. I will link my candle lamp down below in the description box. It's a fantastic one because it has an adjustable arm. It has a dimmer. It has a timer. It's just a really, really great um, candle lamp. And the design of it is a little bit more like neutral. Um, it doesn't look super modern or super old fashioned. It's kind of transitional in between those two. So I think it's a great fit aesthetically for a lot of different people. So I will link that down below. And then I will also link my Candle Crock 101 and my Candle Lamp 101. If you've never seen those videos from me, that explains those two processes for you. So it might help you understand why I utilize those particular things. Um, but since I don't love burning the paraffin, I think having those two as options for me is fantastic. So yeah, also I, there's like a bunch of announcements. Uh, so bear with me here. <laughs> I was able to, so as you guys are aware, I am a Kringle ambassador. That is how I am able to pass along that discount code to, for you guys. So I will put my discount code in the description box down below, as well as a link to shop with Kringle. Um, don't use that code if you're not comfortable with affiliate discount codes. So um, you have you have been warned. Um, but one of the perks or benefits that they made available to Kringle ambassadors with the new releases coming up is that 
we could place an order with Kringle in advance of those releases before they're open to like the general public to just go ham on. Um, we were allowed to purchase one of each scent that we were interested in in advance of that uh, release. I believe, do not quote me on this because I, I did not double check this before I came in here to film. I'll put it in the description box down below. But I think the new scents are launching on March 1st. So again, do not quote me. Always open the description box down below, you guys, because there is always a plethora of information down there for you. So um, anyway, I, um, I definitely put an order in because there were quite a few scents that I was interested in. And I wanted to be able to share just some first impressions with you guys before they're available for the general public. So if you want to make like a shopping list or whatever, you could do that. So I'll be sharing that video on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. I have so many home fragrance related videos coming up for you guys, to be totally honest. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, just make sure you're subscribed and turn on the bell notification. That'll make those videos pop up as soon as they're available. And let's get into the haul. First of all, I have one burning behind me. Okay, so this is the returning favorite pink grapefruit. If this is still available, and you love pink grapefruit let me just tell you this is straight up pink grapefruit there is nothing really like extra in this to me maybe except like a little bit of sugar when you eat your grapefruits do you sprinkle a little bit of sugar over top or do you just go straight in without the sugar i can go either way i do actually like that bitter kind of citrus taste that a grapefruit gives but i also like a sweeter grapefruit as well so this one here is a sweet grapefruit not cloying or overly sweet but very authentic and a friggin powerhouse this two-week soy candle almost scents like the bulk of the downstairs of my house, which typically Kringle candles do not do. Um, they, they're they obviously a two-wick format, but the surface area isn't incredibly large on these, right? Like, so you're going to get a decent s strength and throw, but not like if you had like a larger four wick where you have much more of a surface area for the candle wax to fragrance your home. But this one, oh man, when I have this going, it actually kind of starts to tune out all other scents that I have going. Um, so if it's still available, I hope it is. Uh, I would say grab that if you're looking for a really good performer. I am still going to do in-depth reviews of all of the returning favorites, um, only because at some point they may come back again. And um, at least that way I have it like in my library to be able to link that video in the future at some point. Um, but yeah, so pink grapefruit delicious. By the way, the snoring that you hear is Alf. He is... He is assisting me. He is in my lap. So uh, hopefully it's not too distracting. Next, let us uh, discuss this. I've already actually done an in-depth review of this, so I will link it down below. It is the vanilla latte. And I actually didn't like this one. <laughs> you guys, I, I, I obviously... I really am enjoying the Kringle candles, but I am always going to be honest if I don't like a scent or if the performance is a little bit off. Um, there's no reason to not be because it's feedback for the company. What I encourage all of you to do is even if you don't have a YouTube channel, give give companies feedback, but make it constructive, right? Like don't just like berate them. Um, give them some constructive feedback on what they can do better. This particular scent to me, for example, was just really bitter. Um, but the thing is, I am one of the few people who experience this as a more bitter coffee scent. It just smells like a really dark roast, which would make sense because it's a latte, so it has espresso in it. But I didn't get as much creaminess out of this uh, as I wanted. So for me, this one is a little bit of a flop. Now, I did purchase three of these 
which was, I just assumed that I was going to love it because I love latte scents, but turns out I don't. It's okay because I do think that this will make a nice gift for someone else. So the other two that I have that I have not burned, I'm going to be putting in my little gift closet. And whenever I need a last minute, like, I don't know, teacher gift at the end of the year or something for a girlfriend if a birthday's coming up that I forgot about. I, guess what? I have a couple of candles because like I said, most people that have reviewed this scent or have talked about it or commented on my video said that they did not get a bitter note. I think it's just my nose. So anyway, it's nice. It's just not for me, I guess. All right. This is something that has been around for, oh, please do adjust yourself. Um, this has been out for a while and I've been curious about it and so I just tossed it in my cart. It is the Ginger Lily and Palm. First off, this is not what I expected it to be at all in the best possible way. This is such a beautiful scent. Um, oh my God, Penny's cracking me. She's like twirling in the curtains in front of me. <laughs> she looks like a little Casper. <laughs> my curtains are white. Oh, this is, this is a beautiful, tropical, fresh floral. This is absolutely gorgeous. I do love the label of this too. These gorgeous like ferns. Oh, so pretty. Uh, yeah. This is so nice. <laughs> I want to start burning this ASAP. Um, like I said, so many, so many reviews coming up here shortly. Okay, let's get back into the returning favorites because another one that I bought, I actually bought two of this one. I loved the Yankee Candle Peach and Lavender. Um, I reviewed that several years ago and then it went away and I don't know if it has ever come back. I don't keep up with Yankee anymore to be completely honest, um, but I kind of figured that I might really love the Lavender and Blueberry. I love Blueberry. I do not typically enjoy lavender scents at all. I am not a lavender person. Um, it smells a little bit astringent to my nose, but sometimes when it's paired with the right uh, accompanying fruit, I think it's beautiful. This is beautiful. I am already beyond the halfway point with my first one. That review I need to get up for you guys ASAP because oh my gosh, this is just heavenly, you guys. It has that same beautiful, it's a little bit more blueberry than it is lavender. Just like the Yankee Candle version to me was a little bit more peach than it was lavender. And I love that combination. A beautiful fruit with a lavender, I could do all day long, as long as the lavender is not the predominant note. This, the label, the scent, all of it, beautiful. This one, I was not sure about this at all. I kind of took a big chance on this one when I bought it. The apple basil. I'm glad I took a chance, but it is very herbal and it's very crisp, fresh apple. It's almost like a, I don't think it's Macintosh. I feel like it's like a Fuji or something. Those really crisp, crunchy Fuji apples with a really nice basil, which, you know, you wouldn't think to necessarily pair together. It just makes it a little bit fresher. It makes it um, a great kitchen scent for sure. I see myself probably enjoying this one a little bit more during the summer months, or maybe even as a fall transitional scent that's gonna be a little bit different. So I'm hesitant to burn this now because it feels a little bit more even more seasonal to me than some of these other scents. Um, and apple for me is almost exclusively always a early fall transitional scent, but I might be able to enjoy this during the summer. So we'll see. All right. Another one I picked up was watercolors, which by the way, for a little while there was like 15 bucks on sale. I hope this isn't going away because this is really beautiful. Oh, I think Penny needs to go out. All right, and I'm back. Where was I? Watercolors. This is so pretty. This is very perfumey um, and powdery, but it's it, smel it smells like a fancy lady perfume. <laughs> 
but like a really soft, beautiful women's fragrance. I would totally repurchase this. Now, I don't know about the performance of it. I feel like this could be a lighter candle in terms of strength and throw. This might be a really great like bedroom candle, but I hope I can make it work downstairs because I really would love to be able to smell this throughout the entirety of my house down here. It's stunning. This is a gorgeous scent, you guys. Oh. Again, I'll be putting a link to Kringle down below if you want to go read up all these scent notes. I did not write them down before filming this video, so I'm just giving you some, like, first sniffs. Oh, wait, I don't the camera here. All right, so here is, here's the rest. <laughs> vanilla cone. All right, so I, I have a, a little bit of a history with vanilla cone in that this was back in the day when I did not love Kringle. <laughs> Back when they were still doing their paraffin formula in these style of jars, um, I liked this scent a lot, but the performance was just atrocious. So to get to try it now, years later in the two-wick soy formula, which I love so much, I am hoping that this is going to just rock my world because is there anything better than boring vanilla ice cream in a waffle cone? Well, yeah, I mean, you could mix like Heath in there and just, you know, like go the Cold Stone route and put all sorts of extra things in here. But I do love me some beautiful, just plain vanilla bean ice cream and a waffle cone sometimes. Boring can be really delicious, right? This is, this is really nice. This waffle cone, the waffle cone part smells a little different than it did in the past. But it has also been several years since my experience with this. So, um, and I might be used to that waffle cone note from the, what is it? The, not Berry Pumpkin Waffles. The Bath and Body Works one. Berry Waffle Cone. There we go. Mm -hmm. My memory. Don't, it's, please do not rely on my memory. It's awful. Yeah, that, the waffle cones, I feel like, smells a little bit different. Not bad, but maybe a little bit more... Maybe it's just overall more creamy smelling. I don't know, but I do like it. I do like it, so I'm very excited to light this up. I thought this might be a good, like, fun summertime scent. I will re-review this one in the new format once I light it up, so stay tuned. Um, let's keep going. You guys, I bought another apple cider cake, and this is in the country candle because um, I can't get it in the two-wick soy. This is one of those scents that I would just love for Mick to move over into the soy formula because this, to me, is my favorite type of, like, fall apple spice type of scent. There's something about it that's different. It really does smell like an apple tart. It reminds me a little bit of the tart to tan. <laughs> I always struggle with that, tart to tan, uh, from Yankee Candle. Um, I have, I think, two of those left in like the, the medium jars from Yankee back in the day. There's, yeah, it's that, it's like a tart note. Not, not tart as in like, you know, like, taste tart. Look, but look at the dish, a tart. Like an apple tart. There we go. <laughs> this is so beautiful. I love this, and um, I, I wanted this for fall. I realize we're not even in spring yet. I know. I know. Okay, cotton candy clouds. <laughs> this was a little bit of a uh, Stella influenced purchase because she saw not only the label on this, but she saw the color of the wax. And she said, if you don't buy that, it would be so silly, mom. And so in the cart, it went, man, I hope this performs because it smells really good. <laughs> smells like a mix of like a blue raspberry cotton candy and like pink cotton candy, which I think is like like a strawberry cotton candy, maybe. 
It's really nice. I hope this one is a strong performer because I, I love this scent. Again, if they could move it over, that would be great. Oh, wait, look. Let's, let's do one more of these. You knew another one of these was coming home, right? Because I love it. I've got one in there under that cloche. Um, Sicilian Orange, get out. This is by far, hands down, if I could tell you to just pick up one, just one candle from Kringle ever in your life, and, well, you have to like fresh scents. This is very fresh. This is so authentic, you guys. This smells like beautiful, fresh oranges with a slight green herbal note, but the herbal note does not overtake the orange. It just complements it. It is fresh, it's clean, it's beautiful. This is it. I just love this scent. And so, if I can get a backup, I'll get it. Okay, also, uh, I've got a couple more country candles. Bear with me here. Um, blueberry Lemonade. Oh, uh, again, another one that I wish was available in the two-week soy. Because dang, this is a great scent, you guys. This smells so beautiful so fruity so summery so delicious it is you definitely get lemonade and you definitely get blueberry it literally looks do you see how this picture here looks this is how it smells i don't think i can give you a better i don't think i could explain it in a better way other than that mm -hmm. oh my gosh it's so good these are poured to the brim, by the way. Do you see how full? I mean, these are full. I feel like Yankee kind of fills them to about here, but I they they definitely top the... This goes with that. Okay. <laughs> so I don't want to mix up... Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, so good. Um, yeah, they don't skimp on the pores here, do they? It literally comes up to the bottom of the little plastic thing that is on this lid. It's incredible. Love it. And lastly, you guys, let's check out this uh, mango nectar here. Whoo, this color of wax. Ah, this, I, obviously, I have a thing for, like, a blue like this. Um... Well, this is obviously my paint color is a little different. By the way, this is, I get a lot of questions about my paint color. It is uh, Wedgwood Gray from Benjamin Moore, but color matched at Sherwin-Williams, and that makes a difference. Um, the base paint for Sherwin-Williams is like a, is a different like color of white paint, I guess. And so it does affect the final color outcome. Part of me wishes I did just go with the Benjamin Moore. I don't remember why I didn't. I think our painter at the time didn't use Benjamin Moore. He used Sherwin-Williams, so he color matched it. Um, but also, this is nice. It's bright. It's definitely wonderful during the spring and summer because it's bright, it's cheery, but anyway. Um, so obviously this color speaks to me. Mango Nectar, you guys, get out. This is a really nice mango. But what I will say about this one is it smells really light on cold sniff. Definitely the lightest out of all of the country candles that I have here is this mango nectar. So I, I hope she has the oomph that I'm looking for. She might, but we'll see. I, I am tempted to let this one sit for a little while. I do believe this is a newer scent. So maybe it just needs a little bit of a, a little bit of a cure time, but Anyway, you guys, that's that's it for this haul. But do stay tuned because um, next I will film my thoughts, first impressions, whatnot on on the new um, country candles that are coming out. So um, stay tuned for that. <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. Check out that description box. It's going to be a plethora of information for you. And um, let me know if you have picked up any of these new scents from Kringle. What are your thoughts? What are your experiences? Share those down below in the comments. And um, I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Again, please subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.